I wish I had a food slave. How do we start the video? Welcome to my new video! You good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through a Q&A with my boy, Peter. And we're gonna introduce you to Rasmus and do a leg workout. You keep make doing some food. this. My name is fucking Sebastian. Ali. I mean, we've met like three times now. What do you eat every morning? Usually I have a bowl of oatmeal, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make something a little bit extra. Recently in the fitness industry on YouTube, this recipe on banana Nutella fringe toast roll-ups have been quite popular, so I have decided to try it out myself. I'm gonna link the recipe right here or here or somewhere. And apparently this filling is supposed to assemble some kind of protein Nutella with banana, so I'm quite excited to see how this is gonna turn out. There, and there's even peanut butter in it. Usually I'm really into nut spreads, so should be good. Is this how it's supposed to look? So we have the egg white mixture here, all mixed up. We're gonna put them into the egg white mixture. Let's try to flip them over and see how it looks. We're gonna let them soak all this uh, good egg white muscle stuff in for around two to five minutes. Because I need to take, yeah. There's so much extra liquid guys, like look at all this. So I'm just gonna pour it onto. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have the final result here. This is how it's supposed to look. I feel like this is Pretty damn good, I'm kind of proud, like, look at the chocolate dripping out there, the fresh strawberries. And now I'm gonna put on some Walden Farms near zero calorie syrup. Okay, so let's dive into the taste test. Hmm. This is so, so, so good. This is so good. Super sweet. I didn't need this uh, syrup though. It's like this nut spread, it's so good. It makes me wanna make another nut spread on the outside of it. If you understand that. I'm gonna give you a bite here. Let me know what you think. Guys, it's my sister who's recording and holding the camera right now. Mm. What do you think? Mm. That's good, right? Mm. <laughs> Want another bite? Mm. And guys, there's basically no sugar in this. You have to try it. Massive shout out to Greg Doucette for coming up with this recipe. Mm. Best breakfast ever. Okay guys, so I'm here at the gym with my good friend Peter. We're gonna hit legs. It's gonna be awesome. My name's fucking Sebastian. Okay, P Sebastian. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna do the squats, lunges, blah, 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 and so much more. It's gonna be amazing, right? That'd be absolutely incredible. I'm gonna show how to get this uh, booty. Ready for this? Born ready, man. Not even any weight on. 
Welcome to this new concept, doing a Q&A while working out with... All right, so, uh, do you want to know Brazil? If I want to know Brazil? Yes. Uh, yeah, she sounds nice. Yeah, okay. And what are you looking for in a girl? Uh, a nice girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, are you happy? Is it right or... Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah? I'm quite happy, actually. So, this question. Marry me? Yeah. Alright. And favorite cheat meal? Favorite cheat meal has to be a good burger and ice cream. Alright, so how did you get such a good head shape? Oh, I do a lot of hip banging. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Drop set. Have you ever been to Thailand? <laughs> yes, I have been to Thailand. I went to Bangkok, Thai, the islands and more. Yeah. Wait at the moment? Waiter at the moment. Wait? You wait? Oh! <laughs> oh uh, 74, 75. 74. There's too many of the dirty ones. Oh, oh. Rapid fire questions part two while working out with Oliver. Let's go. Okay, so Oliver, what's your favorite color? Uh, blue. How tall were you again? 186, like one. How many times a week do you work out? Uh, six times strength, once or twice cardio. Alright, what's your favorite, t favorite type of window? Window? <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> okay, so Kyla or Kendall Jenner? Kendall is the skinny one, right? So yeah, her. <laughs> <laughs> I can do more. Where are you gonna travel to next? Uh, maybe Miami, maybe Milano, maybe China. I'm not sure yet. Okay. I'd love to go to Mexico though. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Give me the microphone, otherwise they can't hear me. I'm feeling tired. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Rasmus is calling. What up, Rasmus? Hello, my shoe. Instagram of friend. What are you doing? I am at home uh, and I am actually starting to get kind of bored, so I was wondering if maybe you would uh, come and play. If I would come and play with you? Yes, you could come and play. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, usually we speak English to each other, so today it's you should really speak Danish to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> and today speaking English to each other, like, so weird. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Let's go to unlock the door. So that's the lock by itself? Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. Cool. Uh, get the camera. You didn't grab the keys? No. I thought you took Oh the my keys. god, oh yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the camera. Oh my god. Uh you know the footage? Um I'm just gonna call my grandma. Yeah. Or someone who to knows get the stuff key. about the keys. The next question is how is your name read aloud and how old are you? And I'm actually gonna let Sebastian reply that for me. Oliver <laughs> Adrian. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he is 32 years old, and he lo uh, loves what? Loves what? <laughs> okay, so are we on any dating apps? Are you? Is my fitness pal a dating app? Yeah, I guess you can say. Unfortunately, I am blocked from Grinder, so I mean Tinder. <laughs> so no, I'm not using any dating apps. Okay, so we're back at it with the questions, and Peter gonna read them all out. What? My name is Sebastian. Please tell us, how did you learn about investing in Bitcoin? Oh, I learned it from my stepdad, Thomas. Another question that was, what else is Thomas into? What else Thomas is into? <laughs> MMA. And your mom. No, that's not into, that's just in, sorry. <laughs> the question is, I'm too obsessed with my weight, what should I do? You used to be a PT. Yeah, I used to just tell my clients that they should starve themselves for like seven days straight. Yeah. Seven, mm -hmm. seven days fasting? Yeah. It and might be tough for like yeah. a day or two, but eventually we will get through it. For me, I won't. I am. Okay, you can just. <laughs> okay, well, I'm stuck. You had to go to the toilet, right? <laughs> Next question is from Kajin with the models. <laughs> what do uh, what are you missing most because of Corona? Traveling. But you just traveled for like three months. And to be able to be social, go out. Next up, we have Lily Bryant, 1980s. Can I be your personal foot slave to lick and sniff your feet after workout? 
Sorry, that's it a second. <laughs> Send me a DM, please. Where do you find the people most attractive? That's kind of like the essence of the question. Where to be world? honest, it's probably in Denmark. <laughs> I would say Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> so next question. Are you single? Yes. 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 <laughs> Are you good at arm wrestling? Yeah, let's fucking let's fucking go. <laughs> Three, yeah, two, me. one, go. You <laughs> <laughs> look so manly in that picture. I feel like I sort of have to lose now because this is your video, but that's not gonna happen. Are you gonna I already know I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> yeah, 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> <laughs> left hand, left hand. Left oh shit, let's go. 3, three two, 2, 1. <laughs> one more, one more time, I gotta try. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> oh my... Oh, did I... This is humiliating for my video. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god, can't do this! Oh my god! <laughs> It's also because I, I don't know the technique, it's my oh, first time. I did spend two years in Shanghai yeah. to really learn the techniques of arm wrestling. You did? Yeah. Shit, man. That's right, I, I, I could feel that, like, it was Chinese technique. Alright, so I just finished editing on the video, and now I'm gonna reply to a few more questions. What do you do when you feel demotivated or thinking negative without knowing? from Tapasu Malaysia 83. So it's completely normal to feel demotivated or have negative thoughts. I just try to remind myself that, I, I try to remind myself of all the good things I have, like my family, my friends, I have a freaking place to stay in, I have a healthy body, I can do whatever the freaking goddamn something something I want with it, you know? I mean, I'm so, so privileged to have a healthy, well-functioning body that can work out, that can go for a run. Like, there's so many people who struggle with injuries, illness, limitations, and much, much more. Like, my grandma, she's in a wheelchair. She can't use her legs at all. So every day, I try to be grateful that I'm actually able to work out and to work on my health every day. <coughs> also, the negative thoughts, it's natural. Like, everyone has these thoughts, so just have them for a few minutes. Like, take five minutes off, have the negative thoughts, go through them and leave it. Like, if you can't fix it, then why keep having these negative thoughts? It's just gonna ruin your mood, ruin your day. There's no good thing about it. If you can't fix it, leave it. If you can fix it, do something about it and yeah, I guess that's my best advice. <laughs> what do you really want to do in 2021? As I just said, I want to be more present. I want to be more grateful. I want to be more optimistic, be more positive. I myself have struggled a lot with negative thoughts. And man, it's, it's killing you. It's killing you from the inside. It makes your day go from up here to down here sometimes. It's just not healthy. I have had way too many days in 2020 ruined by negative thoughts. So that is one of my biggest goals for 2021, to not have all these thoughts. In 2020, I had a lot of time to myself, which meant I had a lot of time to think. And when I think a lot and I have a lot of time alone, I tend to overthink, unfortunately. So I've been super tired of my whole life. I've been in doubt if I'm doing the right thing with modeling, social media. Is this what I'm supposed to pursue? Should I do something else? Should I get an education? Like, what is the purpose of my life? And I've decided that 2021, I'm gonna go all in on social media and modeling, even though it's quite hard due to coronavirus. <laughs> However, I'm gonna give it 100%. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it my best to succeed and see where it's gonna take me. And if it's gonna be a big failure, then it has been a big failure and you know, that's it. Then I'm gonna get up and get going with something else. I mean, I don't have anything to lose. I'm sure I would regret it regret it if I didn't put uh, like 100% into pursuing this thing this year or at this stage of my life. You know, when I get older, I would just look back at it and be like, full of regret. And I don't want that to happen to me. So 
I'd rather take the risk and you know what? Then I've tried it. Then I know it's not for me, but I'm pretty sure it is for me. And the last question I'm gonna reply to is what is the goal for you and this channel from Elizabeth Anderson underscore S. So my goal for me and this channel is to build a community that can inspire, motivate, and you know, just in general, leave people with a smile and a positive attitude and outlook on life. To be honest, I don't really care too much about subscribers nor how many likes I'm getting. I just really, I, I just, <clears throat> <laughs> I just really want to inspire, motivate, and leave people with a smile on their face and they're gonna be happy like after watching my videos. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's actually it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about it and this kind of style type of video. What you want to see in the upcoming videos and I know I'm looking so much here instead of the camera lens. I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, have a lovely day live. I hope to see you in the next video. I promise I'm gonna upload more frequently now. And goodbye, guys. And please remember to subscribe. <laughs> That's your personality, Ollie. Right there. It's most likely Chris. <laughs>